For more than 50 years, these versatile plastic bricks have inspired creations from the simple to the fantastic. Just ask this man, who's a member of an exclusive club. Nathan Sawaya is a Lego master builder, a title held by only 40 people in the world. There we go. Ta-da. Nathan, what do you tell people when they ask what you do for a living? Well, I tell them I'm an artist. And then eventually they ask me about the medium I use, and I say plastic. And then eventually I tell them I work with Lego. So how many bricks do you think you've got in here? There's about 1.5 million Lego bricks here. And in the hands of this 34-year-old Lego artist, they can be turned into almost anything in the world. For me now, it's, it's taking these bricks and making them into whatever I want, but in a more artistic sense. Um, you know, at least that's what I try to do. Nathan Sawaya was five years old when he got his first set of interconnecting bricks on Christmas Day 1978. Like millions of children around the world, he was hooked. Being able to create and take apart and create again, it's a toy that never ends. At least how I looked at it as a child. Whatever I wanted that day, I could build it. If I wanted to be in a rock band, I could build a guitar. If I wanted to be an army guy, I could build a gun. You know, that's what Lego was about. More than 20 years later, Nathan Sawyer entered a Lego building contest and won. The company offered him a job as a master builder. It was in San Diego on the West Coast and I was living in New York City at the time as a lawyer. So do, do I leave my lucrative law job and go work for $13 an hour with Lego? Um, and I said yes, and I made the leap. Within months, he made an even bigger leap, going freelance, working out of his New York apartment. As with any building project, things don't always go to plan. Today, a likeness of American comic and TV commentator Steve Colbert is proving challenging. I've been pretty happy with how his eyes turned out, with how his nose turned out, but his mouth just has not clicked for me, and so this is the fourth mouth attempt. Uh, and every time I think I get it, I think I'm happy, I glue it, I'm finalized. And then I stare at him and, and a day later I'm like, nope. And then hence I have to chisel him apart. This one is just for fun and in case that guest appearance comes along. But the real money comes from commissioned work. My favorite thing is just to build for myself. And, and that's a lot of the works that you see in the museum exhibit are things that I've just put together for myself over the years. And uh, that's where I really enjoy my work. A selection of Nathan's work is now on tour in the Art of the Brick exhibition. I'm trying to take it to a place it's never been before. What have you made here? Very nice work. Very good job. I like your use of color. At the Discovery Center in Rockford, Illinois, dozens of budding artists are eager to meet the master. I was uh, five years old when I first got my first Lego set. When is it something you've built out of Lego bricks and when is it art? It's always art, right? It's art because I say it is. Very postmodern view but of is, it. But is what you did when you were five art? Thing. Well, it is to, it is to the five-year-old. I mean, a lot of people ask me, well, are there other Lego artists out there? And I say, well, there's 70 million other kids out there who are creating. And, and I can't say that they're not artists. Of course they're artists. Three of the most popular works in the exhibition are the sculptures Blue, Red and Yellow.
birth, life, and death. Blue, now I see himself as putting himself together, and really birth. Red, where this, this man is either sinking into Lego brick or rising out of brick. Either way, it's definitely a transition, and I see that as life. And then you have yellow, who's tearing himself apart, and that's death. In case you're wondering about the price tag on Lego art, Nathan has just been offered $20,000 for blue. Hi. Sure. He's making as much as an artist as he did as a lawyer. And I guess I don't need to ask you which is more fun. This is a lot more fun. In fact, the, the, uh, the worst day being an artist is still better than the best day being a lawyer. <laughs> And how does Nathan Sawaya relax after a hard day's building? By immersing himself even further in his art. 